Welcome back to the Bank Guide. I'm your Bank Guy, Colin, and today's another video in the 5 Minute Logic Expert series where I'm bringing you 30 tips and tricks for recording, mixing, and mastering in Logic in 30 days. And today we're looking at buses. This is maybe my most requested video about Logic, especially if you're coming from GarageBand, you don't have buses in Logic, and they seem very confusing. And I know for me, when I was starting out, even in Pro Tools, I felt like buses were extremely confusing, but they're actually very simple. So my goal is to teach you everything you actually need to know about buses in as close to five minutes as I can today. So we're going to get straight into it. The first thing you need to know is that there's three primary ways that you're going to use buses. The first way is for your effects. So you would have a track and you'd send off to an effects bus. So you'd have one reverb plugin or one delay plugin on one effects bus and you can send as many tracks over to that as you want. And we'll look at that in just a second. The second way is for organizing your tracks. So a really cool thing in Logic is that you can create track stacks, which is where you can send all your tracks to a folder essentially, and then you can collapse it down. It makes your session much easier to move around in. The third way is for processing groups of tracks together. So for example, in just a minute, we're going to look at I have a whole bunch of vocals, kind of backing vocals that all just need a little bit more brightening in the mix, a little bit of EQ in the mix. And I can do all of that with just one EQ for like 10 tracks. And that's going to help me mix much, much faster. So let's jump straight into it and look at it starting with the first way that you would use it, which is effect. So here we have a vocal. If we just listen to it a little bit. Yeah, it's just to get out. Totally unprocessed vocal. We're just gonna send it off to a reverb. So do that, we'll just go here where it says sends, we'll go down to bus, and then we can use any of these empty buses. If they have something on them already, then it will say it next to it. So we'll just go to bus one. And a cool thing in Logic is that it auto generates this track for us. That's so something Pro Tools didn't do. It's really a very convenient feature that I love about Logic. So you'll see over here, it created this new track called Aux 17. And we can confirm this is bus one because up at the top here, it says bus one. And the first thing we want to do is go ahead and add whatever effect we want on here. In this case, we're going to do a reverb. So I'm just going to throw the space designer on here. And then we need to turn this little knob. This is how we actually send over to that effect. And now we're going to hear you say it's just to get out. Yeah, it's reverb just on that vocal. It's a little bit much. We'll go and turn that down some. And we'll go and title this track reverb. Title your tracks. It helps. Okay. And that's super cool. Why would you do that instead of uh, just throwing a reverb on the actual vocal? Well, now I can also send all these other vocals over there if I want. So I just created one reverb plugin. I can tailor one reverb plugin, get it sounding how I want, and send all my vocals to it. You say it's just so that's to cool. Get out. Yeah, it's just to get out. So that's one reason that you might do it. The second reason you might do it is because we can also do additional processing to it. So let's say I want to also have a chorus on this. We can just throw one on and we can dial that in. It's just to get out. Maybe yeah, throw a little bit of distortion on it. Right? Get out of the thick of it. And now you're saying you're proud. Yeah, and you can start getting a really interesting sound with your effects and tailor them to your mix, like EQ in them to make sure that they really fit in the context of your mix. So that is effects buses. They're a huge help. The only other thing you need to know about effects sends is these options right here. So post pan, post fader, or pre fader. Post pan just means that it is after the volume fader and the pan position. Post fader means that it is pre pan position and pre-fader means that it is not affected by this volume fader or this pan position. So if I were to pan this vocal all the way to the right and we were to you listen to it, to the reverb, as we can see over you here, is also being sent all the way to the right. But if I were to set this to post-fader, that means that it's pre-pan, then it's sending the reverb as if it were panned up the middle. And finally, if I were to put it pre-fader, then I could bring this vocal all the way down and we'll still hear the reverb because of the amount that I'm sending right here. Whereas if I have it in the default position, then it's going to be the same relative value compared to this fader position. If that was confusing to you at all, just ignore it for now. If you ever have a reason to use it in the future, you'll know. The second way you might use your buses is for organization. So you might notice on here, let's actually look over at the guitars for this example. With our guitars, you'll see here, and with all of our tracks, you'll see here that there's this output area. And right now it says stereo output, that's the default, but you can actually use buses to route your output and then have all of your tracks go into one bus, which can be really helpful. But we can take it a step further in that Logic creates track stacks for us. So to do a track stack or create a track stack, we just hit Command Shift and D with the tracks we wanna be in it. I prefer to always make summing stacks because that allows me to do processing on it, which is three that we'll look at in just a second. So we're gonna go ahead and hit create here. And now all of these guitars are going to this one place. And we can see that here, 
if you look with all these guitars, they now say bus five, it automatically generated that for us. And the input of this guitar's folder says bus five. And now I can collapse this down. And if I do this across all of my different elements in this song, this song has a lot of tracks. So if I do all of my keys in here and collapse that down, and then I take all of my lead vocals and create a track stack and collapse that down. And all of my chorus vocals, these are the backing vocals here, and collapse that down. Then now that's my entire song and it's much easier to move around in here. If I wanna look at something in the guitars, I can just go here and unfold that folder. It's much easier to see. And again, it's really cool because Logic generates all these buses for us. We don't have to go through and manually patch them. Super cool, super fast. Okay, let's look at the third way that you might use this, which is to process groups of audio. So this song has uh, kind of like a backing vocal chorus. It's just a whoa chorus. And they just sound like this. And they could use a little bit of EQ. So we're just gonna go with this folder selected. If I were to look at my full view here, you'll see that I'm not doing it on any of these individual tracks but on this folder, I'm adding an EQ, and now I can EQ all of these tracks in one place. Cut a little bit of mud. Add a little bit of presence here. Let's listen to that in a context. Much faster than going through each individual track, right? Okay. That's buses. That's all you need to know about buses. You could use it for effect sins. You could use it for organization. Sometimes I'll just create folders and I won't do any processing on them, but it makes my session much easier to move around in. And then the third way is that you can do processing on a group of tracks in one place with one plugin. Not as confusing as it seems, right? It's a really, really powerful tool. Now, before you go, I wanna give you something. If you're struggling to get a mix that you're proud of inside Logic, I've put together something that's really gonna help you out. It's my six step checklist to a pro mix and it just goes through the six steps that all professional mixes have and how you can do them specifically in Logic. It's completely free from the link in the description below. So be sure to pick it up. I promise it's gonna help you out. And I'd also love to hear from you. Was this helpful? Do you understand buses now? Let me know in the comments below. If this video was helpful, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow with another five minute Logic Expert. One thing at a time, I can't